Hello and welcome to Travel Beans. I'm Emma, behind the camera is Alex, and we are currently in Spain making our way to Madrid for the Champions League final. As the prices are absolutely outrageous here, we've decided to sleep in the car and make a bit of a road trip of it. Our first stop today is Montserrat, which is this huge mountain behind me, and behind Alex is where we showered this morning. Montserrat is by no means a hidden gem, but considering it's less than one hour away from Barcelona, it's definitely not on everyone's radar. The meaning of the word Montserrat means jagged or serrated mountain. That's because of the sharp looking peaks. According to legend, angels came down with a golden saw, <laughs> because you know a normal saw wouldn't be able to do this, <laughs> and they were here to create a throne for Virgin Mary. So if any of you are watching and you want to have a baby without having the intercourse, there's a pretty good reward out there for you. <laughs> there are some different options of getting here to Montserrat. The first option is that you can actually get the train directly from Barcelona straight to the middle of Montserrat. Another option is to do like we did and rent a car. So you can either park the car right at the bottom of the mountain and take the cable car up to the top, or you can do what we did, which is actually drive up the mountain and park in the car park in Montserrat. From here, you can get the funicular railway all the way up to the top, which is where you can start quite a few of the different walks and treks. This route offers you some insane views over the top of the mountain. You can either get a one way on the funicular railway and walk down or you can get a return journey and we highly recommend it because the views from the railway itself are fantastic. Then once you get to the top the views are even more spectacular. We've opted to do one way on the railway <laughs> and walk back down to Montserrat. Montserrat is famous for its monastery which is built into the side of the cliff. Now you should be able to see it just down there. It's almost a thousand years old but a lot of it has been reconstructed in the 19th century and that's because that little man Napoleon came along two consecutive years running and destroyed most of it. I say little man but something I do know about Napoleon is that he was five foot seven which is exactly my height so he was actually a massive bloke. <laughs> <laughs> and a fascinating bit of information about Napoleon the reason that he's famously short is because the British propaganda at the time to try and mock him was to say that he was this tiny little man, but five foot seven at the time was actually a very reasonable height, much like today. <laughs> <laughs> You wish. Something that keeps cropping up on our travels is the King Arthur story and the Holy Grail. And lo and behold, these mountains also house the Holy Grail. But this one is actually really interesting because Himmler, Hitler's mate, <laughs> <laughs> truly believed that it was hidden here and that it held supernatural powers. Literally like a real life Indiana Jones. And he actually came here when Hitler came to visit the dictator of Spain at the time and came looking for the Holy Grail. Now, hopefully, he didn't find it otherwise he's still walking among us <laughs> guys I want to come out with something cultured and intelligent to say to you but all I can think right now looking at that rock is how much it looks like a giant penis <laughs> can anyone else see that or is it just me I've seen bigger <laughs> <laughs> I've seen smaller what's that mean <laughs> am I supposed to be offended that my penis is not as big as that rock <laughs> For some reason, Alex all of a sudden is craving sausage, and luckily we've actually packed some for our picnic. So we've decided now is a lovely opportunity to sit on these rocks with this wonderful view and eat some delicious Spanish snacks. 
That's right. I'm very pleased to see you. <laughs> and there's a sausage in my pocket. <laughs> so if you watched yesterday's video, you already met this guy and you will know that he is extremely delicious and only a euro. <laughs> it's not just all meaty treats though. We also have some bananas. We've got ourselves some vegetarian falafels and what looks like sweet potato and quinoa salad. Collectively, this costs us about four euros. So chuck in my one euro sausage and you're eating a feast for five euros. absolutely blown away by these rock formations. I mean, Alex and I have done our fair share of hiking in lots of different countries, but I've never seen anything quite like this before. Actually, has anyone watching seen rock formations like this? And if you have, where? Other than Spain, obviously. <laughs> For us, we kind of imagine something you'd see like in America or maybe China, somewhere yeah, really vast. Somewhere really huge. Like, I, I definitely couldn't picture this being in Europe. I'm really surprised. If you're interested in doing this walk, you can pick up a map from the information office. And I just want to warn you that the map itself is not the best and it can be just used kind of as a rough guide. Uh, on the back, you do have five different walks and we did choose the longest one. And it isn't the best instructions because there's so many times you come to a crossroads, which it doesn't mention and you have to gamble left or right. We've been going for quite a while. We're pretty sure we're on the right trail, but it's now coming up to six and we're in the mountains and it's not going to get dark for another couple of hours but i don't really want to be in the mountains while it's getting dark so we are going to head back now i would just keep in mind if you're going to do something like this it's probably better to come earlier on in the day don't make the same mistake as the beans did so we are not the only ones that are completely lost and confused here we've just come across another couple i assume a couple or friends who are also lost in the mountains with us so we are not alone never fear and the light is still shining so we still have time to get back and survive this hike but it genuinely is very very confusing be extremely, extremely careful if you come here yeah and we have to say we honestly are getting a little bit worried <laughs> just a little bit we have about an hour and a half of light yeah and it's saying it's going to be another 40 minutes 40 to get minutes. down. We made it back, guys. We're safe. <laughs> we got down to the monastery, safe and sound. Thank goodness. Earlier, when we first arrived, this place was riddled with tourists. They were everywhere. But now it is very peaceful, very quiet. So Alex and I are going to take this opportunity to have a wander around and have a look at everything before heading back to the car. After a pretty epic drive from Montserrat, we pulled over in a 24 hour rest stop, hoping to find somewhere to sleep for the night. We could not believe our luck when they had showers. I showers. know. I feel like we've hit the jackpot of rest stops here, guys. Maybe this is completely normal in Spain, but we, for some reason, completely didn't expect or think to find showers at a rest stop. It makes complete sense with all the truckers that are going past needing somewhere to sleep, but it didn't actually cross our mind. So for the people that are switched on at home, this is probably not that good of a travel hack, <laughs> but what travel hacks are we missing? Leave it in the comments. Yeah, I mean, obviously we're rubbish at this. <laughs> We've only just found out they have showers. So yeah, definitely leave us comments with any of your travel tips. We have found the darkest area of the car park, which is where we're gonna settle in for the night. So we've got our bed ready again. All tucked up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, hit that like button. And leave it in the comments what travel hacks are we probably missing. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe. And finally, you're going to like this one. Mm. It's going to be a little bit different. Thank you very much for <laughs> watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And beans out! <laughs> I think they can still see us. Hello. <laughs> You know that feeling when you're in bed and you turn over the pillow and you get the cool side of the pillow?
this is like this times 10 right now. I know it looks weird. <laughs> I'm not saying it looks cool. Oh, but boy, does it feel good. 